So much earlier than I usually do. I'm usually like an eight o'clock, nine o'clock guy, and it's seven. And it's vlogmas. Yeah. I'm giving away $500 every single day, sponsored by 12330. Yesterday's winner is Cassandra. Soleil Cassandra. You guys have been supporting me, and now it's time to give back, so I'm trying to support you guys this holiday season. Don't forget to enter the giveaways. And check out 12330.shop so we can keep doing cool stuff like this. 12330, baby, $500 every single day. I'm not sure that this does anything, but I saw my friend do it like a year ago and ever since I've been kind of doing it. I try to massage my face when I'm doing my cleanser, like a mini lymphatic moment. I feel like in theory this works. I pick random skincare every day. To be honest, today I chose the Aloe Radiant Serum and the Shani Darden Weightless Free Oil Moisturizer. I'm so picky for lips because I feel like any single product that I put on my lips makes it drier and it is super rare for me to find something that actually does something good. Obviously the Rode skincare lip peptide rocks, but Miss Haley needs to sell more of it. It's been sold out, I feel like, since it launched. But they were gracious enough to send it to me in PR, but like send me more. <laughs> I'm a greedy bitch. Oh my God, what the fuck? I'm like mad at Miss Haley as if she gives a single flying but anyways, I've been using this now, Laneige. And I remember hearing about Laneige, like the Laneige lip mask. And I remember hearing over and over that it was like for bougie bitches, whatever, that it's super expensive. So I was thinking that it was like a $70 moment. To my surprise, it was like an $18 moment. Let me correct myself if I'm wrong and put up the real number on the screen. But like, it was way less expensive than it was cracked up to be. And let me tell you, this thing, works. I'll link it for you. I'm so picky with anything for lips. People swear by everything under the sun and none of it works for me. You know how many people I meet that are aquaphor girlies? And I'm like, no. This is like my tower of shame. Every day that I wear something for like anywhere from five minutes to two hours and it doesn't get dirty and I don't feel like washing it, I put it on this. Tower of shame. Not dirty, not clean. This is a cute little workout set. I just don't know how well, the girls are gonna be supported in this because it's giving me like bathing suit. Look at the back of this. I mean, we could try it. It's from White Fox. Every brand is coming out with the athleisure line now. Oh, update. I am totally perfecting my athleisure line, like the 12330 athleisure line. Every brand is coming out with the athleisure line now. I'm doing so much on the back end to perfect a pair of leggings and to perfect some sports bras. We're talking real support for the girlies that haven't gotten their breasts reduced like I have and have maybe one bigger than the other or need some support and want something that still looks dainty but still holds everything where it needs to be. So I'm working on that. So get ready. That's probably gonna take a little bit of time. So don't get like too ready, but just know that it's coming. Let's see if this holds me up. I feel like this is actually kind of cute. Okay, question, do you Pray at night. I don't care what religion, but do you pray at night? Because it was always something that I was told to do growing up and like I did it because I was told to do it. But doing it now is so nice. I do it every night. And recently these prayers are just getting longer and longer. It really sends you into sleep in like a peaceful way, especially me. Like I, I'm anxious when I go to sleep because I start thinking about like a million things that I can't control or do anything about in that moment. And the praying really helps me like just unwind and get to bed and feel grateful and like remind myself of how blessed I am. 
I'd be praying about random things. I'm like, I'm grateful for my legs that help me walk and like all, like I get niche, I get micro with it. I like get very specific and grateful for like random things that we forget to be thankful for. And doing that is kind of slight. write down the most random sh in the mornings but like writing it down and just being aware that there is a million things to be grateful for at the start of a day changes your perspective i'm gonna do a 10 minute quiet meditation because it's honestly been a while if i'm keeping it 100 since i've done one and it feels like a morning prayer and like yeah i could pray in the morning like oh but like i feel like that's intense i, I like to do a meditation in the morning and a prayer at night you know? How cozy is this room for meditation, by the way? Ooh, like, the sun's coming in from over there. I don't know if you can see it. Like, so gorge. I will see you in 10 minutes. Ciao, ciao. Extra large, 12 3 30 hoodie. Shout out to the sponsors of this video. It's a huge thank you to all the support for everybody that supported me with the hoodies. Oh my god. I'm not wearing my ring. <gasps> is she single? And if you want to buy this hoodie, I will link it for you. I'm not going to lie. It has been freezing outside, but freezing mornings hit so uniquely because they bring out this extra energy in the bones. I don't know if that's a personal situation, but when I'm cold and my bones are cold, I get like fucking hyper and I'm like, ah, you know what I mean? Um, so that's the current sitch. I have no snacks at home right now, which is such an ish. Cause I'm about to go to a workout class. I haven't gone in no weeks. Make it like probably a month, honestly, at this point. No, it's been weeks. But yeah, I haven't worked out in weeks at this class. So I'm gonna go do it just to just to do it. But I need to get like a smoothie or something because I need to have like I need to have more snacks at home that I could just pop in my mouth before going somewhere in the morning. Cause who is hungry in the morning? I mean, like, I understand being slightly hungry at like eleven, but I don't wake up at 7 a.m. like, mmm, what's tasty? Like, nah. So I'm gonna grab a smoothie so I can have something. Bominos. Okay, whoa. Not to be dramatic, but this is the best smoothie I've ever had in my life. Do you have one stops? Is this like a chain? Or is this an Arizona thing? Because damn, my base is coconut milk. And then I did banana, cappuccino, whatever flavoring, a pill of caffeine. <laughs> I was like, does the cappuccino flavor have actual caffeine? And he said no. So then I was like, can I get caffeine? And he literally put in a pill of 100 milligrams of caffeine chocolate. And it tastes like heaven. I'm like obsessed. Okay. Mm. Not Henny scratches in the back. I'm not going to lie. That just sent me. Okay. If I'm being honest, during the holiday season, really all I've been doing is 12 3 30. So getting back into this class after I haven't done it in so long made me feel rusty. And girl, I was dying. Like, oof. I did not want to be there that much. But it's okay. We persevere. We push through. These were kind of fire. I felt my glutes burning up. And then it starts getting a little motivating because you start feeling your glute be activated. And you're like, okay, I could do this. This thing, whatever this thing is called, was fun. Felt it definitely activating the glute toots, but oh wait hold up not the booty gains what is this angle right here this thing came and smacked me and that was it that was my final straw you're done we're done with the workout okay i'm gonna make some breakfast i love chorizo in the morning i feel like it's an underdog champ it doesn't get as much hype as it deserves pork chorizo beef chorizo with eggs mmm tasty hot into it so tomorrow's video is gonna be a what i eat in a week i've been filming it for like two weeks for the channel so if you want to see every single meal that i eat in a week stay tuned for tomorrow today's is a sourdough basil egg chorizo scramble and it does hit different i'm not gonna lie chorizo's like slept on what the fuck I don't know why I did 12 3 30 today because I already went to my workout class but I think I'm just so addicted to like not even the workout but like the mental like I have my time for my podcast I have 30 minutes to myself so I did a workout and 12 3 30 today 
I'm like just flexing on y'all at this point. Um, I'm gonna dye my hair. I feel like the typical thing to do during this time of year is to get that like dark chocolatey December hair. You know what I mean by that. Um, and it's been a long time since I've done any color to my hair. I wanna say it's been about a year. And I love that. I love spending zero dollars on maintaining a color. When I was blonde, I spent so much money maintaining that blonde because it's like every month it would get yellow. And ever since I did this brunette, I have not done a single thing to it. But it's that time of year. I want to get like that warm tone, Christmassy, dark, dark, dark Kardashian brown. So that's what we're gonna go do. I love a hair appointment moment. Vamanos. This is the before. It's cute. It's pulling a little, um, brassy. Vamanos! So I guess we're not dyeing it. I guess we're toning it and doing low lights, which is gonna make it look super chocolatey. Cool, cool, chocolatey. Because I have, like, all these random, like, pieces of blonde. And this is the new do. I love it, honestly. I feel like, I don't know, December and dark hair, handshake emoji, you know the vibes. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. What I eat in a week, baby, are you ready? Cause you better be.